Hey. Well, yeah, we're fishing. But for you, it's Wednesday at seven o'clock. So hope you enjoy it. I'll probably rabble on, probably moan, groan. I doubt it, because I'm quite happy today. And uh, enjoyed the drive there. Saw some people that uh, we'll talk about later. And uh, yeah, it's low water. High tide it is, it time is now, let's get things right, 12.36 p.m. on Saturday, the 8th of October. Um, <clears throat> it's been a day and a month since I caught that codlin. Can't believe it, but never mind. It's what we're here for today. See if we can catch some fish. Any species, cod would be welcome. Be really good. So, uh, yeah, we're fishing on the Yorkshire coast, also known as the Holderness Coast for the actual area that we're in. But it's in Yorkshire, yeah? Where you get Yorkshire tea. But we don't drink that. So yeah, we're here. There's nobody on the beach, as you can see, Gordon. Nobody at all, apart from him. Yeah, I've had to come and fish with Shane again, because he, he was going on and pleading and everything else. He won't really. He just said, when are we going to fish together? So here we are, we're fishing. So we have a laugh. So we catch some fish. It's a glorious summer's day. The wind is meant to be blowing over the cliffs, but it isn't. It's blowing straight down the beach, which ain't good. Not good at all. We've had it blowing down the beach before and we've not caught, but time will tell. Hopefully today we'll winkle something out and get ourselves some fish. So with that, it's time to cut for credits. See you in a bit. Well, I'm baited up. First rod's baited up anyhow, so we're now gonna cast this one out. I've got a uh, panel hook clip down, cod rig, single hook, pack, you know, snood on it. I call them cod rigs. I've seen them called cod rigs, so that's what they are. <clears throat> Very windy, blowing down the beach, so I guess that's north, north, east, north east, something like that. Dead straight. First cast, dead straight. I'll let you into a little secret, shall I? It's a good one. I've made a casting aid up. And uh, let's just say it's a casting aid. I put it on the end of my clip and I can now go casting in my field because the furthest I can cast it, and I aren't trying, I'm just working on technique, is 70, 71 yards I did. So, the field's only 130 yards long. But I've got a cast aid. Thursday and Friday, I went casting. Just working on technique. The casting aid weighs eight ounces. So, uh, there's no lead involved or anything. And uh, it's absolutely brilliant. And all I do is stick it down and just cast and work on my technique. I ain't got to worry about how far I'm hitting it because that's where it all goes wrong. But now I can practice at my own town in a field that's just long enough for me to cast, even though there's pylons in it, but I'm away from them. And it's absolutely fantastic. So from now on, my casting's gonna get better. Now I'm not gonna say it's gonna be right in this video or the next, but by the next video, I'd have probably done two or three more casting sessions. Things are gonna move on now because when you're fishing and casting, it's hard work because you get deflated with one or the other. And uh, now I can work on it and persevere and get it right. So that when I meet up with my old mate, Alan, he'll sort me out, he'll polish me off and uh, hopefully then start doing the uh, pendulum. So uh, the fun will begin then. Don't forget to check out um, Alan's castaways. He's great guy. He's given me his time and everything else. 
um, taught me how to cast. He's a lovely bloke. Um, go check out his YouTube channel. And uh, don't forget, if you've got this far into my channel, into this video in fact, and you think it's all right, click on the subscribe. If you don't want to, um, it's all free, but if you don't want to, thank you for the view. So let's get this back in the rod rest. So I cast it out over there because I walked down the beach and the tide will pull it round a bit, but it ain't going to go far today, the cast, because of this wind. It's gusting quite heavily. I don't know, I think it's going to drop at some point, but I might have to put these rod tips down. These Kenzakis, I don't think, these Kenzakis, I don't think, are as stiff as the icons. I've always said that, but I'll be able to t tell today because Shane's there with his icons, and I'll be able to, uh, oh, I'll be able to have a look at his and see how he's sitting the tide and in the wind. But the Kenzakis are a stiffish rod. Well, they are stiff. You know, when you pull a bend on it, it's just the top that bends. But I don't think they're quite as stiff as the Icons, but time will tell. I ain't fished with the Icons for a long time, so. Um, but yeah, first rod out, first fishing. And that's with a clip down with a full squid on it. Let's hopefully catch some fish today catch a codlin it'll be even better um, if we catch any codlin today let's hope it's me first and not Shane not that I don't want Shane to catch a codlin but I'd rather catch one first because then I can rib him a bit Bloody squid come off again. I know I've got to use elastic, but I'll tell you the reason I don't. And that is, they're bait holder hooks, and I'm only chucking out 20 yards. Now, perhaps the squid's not at his best or something, but it, one bit come off. Uh, the reason why it's 20 yards, 30 yards out on a flatbed rig with bait holder hooks is because I don't want to use elastic. But I'm gonna have to, so. That's all I'm going to say about that, and the next one I'll have to elasticate on, unless I end up using two big rigs to catch big fish, but let's get the blank out of the way. I've got a new lighting system as well, um, which I've made. I might show you before it's dark, I think I probably will. And uh, hopefully we'll still be air in the dark. If there's no weed and we're catching fish, um, we're going to be here till nightfall. So, uh, like I say, high water's at about quarter to five, and gets dark at 20 past six, so we'll still be here, unless we have a nightmare, but let's not talk that up. I've got one out short with two thirds of the bait on. The lug worms didn't come off, just a bit of squid. So we'll bait elastic the next one on and then I've got to keep wrenching that stuff off to put the next one on but there you go. It's probably too windy. Rods are stiff as well aren't they so. But yeah I'll show you my new lighting thing. It's just to light the tips of the rods up um, because when I was fishing last time which you have already seen where I caught the, caught the dogfish and two white and, and that slack line bite which I can't still ain't got over yet. Um, can't see the rods a lot of the time. I could when obviously when I'm looking at it, but I'm so busy doing other stuff and that. It was a case of uh, I look up, 
didn't have my light on, you can't see it, can you? So, I've got something to try. I've had lights on my rods before, but this is a newer version and it's better, a lot better. Talk about anti-social fishing, eh? Look at that. It's not good, is it? Got his back to me already. He ain't fished with me since August. August it's been. There one is Puffer Pipe, look. Sat on his new bit of foam. He you got your foam, Shane. He you sat on your foam. Yeah, he's got his foam, yeah, look. Yeah, got your back to me. Ignorant. See you in a bit.
that's that elastic done. Let's uh, hope that's all right. There's a little bit of weed about. Um, Shane said, I hope there's no weed. And uh, there's always a bit of weed here. Um, normally red or bladderwrack. But would you believe there's a bit of may rot in it? So, don't think he's too happy. Wind is blowing, it got a little bit chilly, so I've put a t-shirt on, Captain America, and uh, feeling a lot warmer. It's a surprising how much a t-shirt, just one extra layer of clothing, can make you feel a lot warmer. What is it? He's caught a bloody whiten. Well done, mate. Saw some squid on the beach and I thought, please tell me that ain't come off on the cast. Never saw anything fly off. Saw the weight fly through the air as well. Things are getting better. But it weren't, it was a squid gut, so I chucked down there. So things are looking up. So I'll bring in the next rod in a minute. Um, Shane's caught, you bring him to where you fished and you're in any catches and uh, I'm blanking. He ain't shut up yet. He's still yapping now, look. Look at him. It's only a whiting. He caught, mate. <laughs> what was it? Oh, it's only a whiting, but we all count. <laughs> That's the blank done for Shane. Should bring you back in a minute. Shall I reel in this other rod? Yeah, I guess so. Let's get it reeled in. What's the time on?
Big white and yeah. swimming about, it's all right. Look at that. 41. 41. But no, that's that's on the tip there. 42. 42. 42, that's a good weight in that, mate. Tip that. Mm. Oh. She's full of life. So it's a 42 centimetre white and chuff with that. Let me get up a minute. <laughs> there you go. Let's get it back. One 42 centimetre white and. That's a good fish that mate. Well, 142 centimetre whiten. Uh, I'll keep an eye on the beach. It's gone back. I don't know if he's going to survive, but he's gone back um, and disappeared. So you can only hope that with a whiten. If he comes back on the beach, he'll be going them for the cats. But nothing has off yet. So I shall get this. May Rock took off his line. Get another bait out. Hopefully we'll catch another fish. Hopefully something different to a whiten. 42 centimetre whiting, good size whiting. Slightly to the left, but went a long way. But that's good because with a pull on the water, it'll be in front of my rod rest in a minute. The casting on the field has done wonders, but it can only get better. What I'm open for, what I'm open for is just plonk it down the beach and hit it and it casts and that's what the practice on the field is going to do I just want to be concentrating on fishing here I ain't even got a spare rig made up yet which I'm now going to do but you know I want to be fishing don't I? I want to see the bites oh. 
hopefully. Now I don't want to be worrying about this, that and the other. So I'm here to fish. I'm going to put it on the beach. That weren't right. I know what I need to do next time. Exactly the same as what I was doing on the field. That weren't then. And I thought to myself, let's just see what happened. So uh, definitely looking up. Definitely saw it leave, leave the rod. So uh, that's enough about that. I'm here to fish and that's what I'm enjoying doing. I think my white one was bigger than Shane's. <laughs> right, well, I'm gonna get another rig sorted and uh, get it baited up and I'm gonna have a word with Shane, I think. See you in a bit. One dogfish, one codlet! <laughs> Get in! <laughs> right, let's get this on out. One dogfish. Beautiful dark Cullens like the last one as well. Cullens. Colours. So yeah, let's get old doggy back. What a booty.
One codlin. Hey, Jane. So that's a codlin and a dogfish on a two hook flapper. <laughs> oh, water's coming in quick now. I'm going to have to set this rod up. That's right, let's get this showed. One codlin. That's inside, but it's going back because that's the right thing to do. One little codlin. Let's get it back. Shane's just into a dogfish. So Shane's catching us good because he's had a time blanking at the minute. But now he's with me. He's catching again. But yeah, so what a fantastic hook up. Two hook up that. So I've had a 46 centimetre white and it went belly up, but it's gone now. Can't see it anywhere. It's not on the beach. So that master have sat there for a while and thought, do you know what, I'm going to live. And it's right itself and gone, hopefully. Codlin's gone. What was that? Probably 32 centimetres. Probably 33, maybe 28. Who cares? It's a little codlin. She was fat. She had a bit of a belly on her, so she's eaten. She's gone back to fight another day. And not only that, but to get bigger. It's going to be a good year this year, I think. So that's two codlin I've had this year. Another codlin video. Wonder what the title will be. Better put cod in it. Right, I'm gonna get this real rot line sorted out. And I've already got a rig baited. Move my gear back, cast out. See you in a bit. That's gone out. That's gone out really well. Only five yards to the left. I ain't talking about it no more. I'm here to fish. That's three fish we caught. We're having a fantastic time.
Excellent. One whiting. Good size whiting. And he's gone back in on the beach. They normally, if they die, they wash up. He must have just been a bit comatose and then righted himself. Unless he sunk to the bottom. But there you go, you can't, that's it. But he's not there. So fingers crossed, think the best. One huge dogfish. <clears throat> Had dogfish last week. And a codlin. I mean, that's fantastic. That's now two codlin. And that flapper rig, I cast it at distance as well for today. You ain't gonna get that far because the wind's blowing it down, down the beach. So when it hits the top, it starts to stop. But I saw my line, it was right over towards Shane. It had gone over his lines because he went out so far. And uh, we got tangled up, I was over the top of him. And I shouted to him to come back to me and help me out. He's only going fishing in my swim now. <laughs> He's doing a burn. Well, I've got to put this mask on apparently um, before I go over to see Shane. I don't know why, we can only guess, can't we? But he's told me I'm not allowed to go near him unless I've got a mask on. So let's see what happens when I go over there. Let's hope it's nothing like what you know. See you in a minute. We'll go walk over there now. What on earth's the matter with him? That's what I want to know. So Shane, why have I got to wear a mask before I come and talk to you? Why have you got to wear a mask? <laughs> Is there something wrong with you? I think... <laughs> why have I got to wear a mask? I've, asked, I've put the mask on. <laughs> And I've asked, I've said to him, I don't know what's the matter. I mean, it might be COVID or something, I don't know, but oh, what what, you... why have I got to wear a mask? Is there something you need to tell me? Well, I, you know, you went about this rash, obviously, haven't you? You've got the rash. <laughs> I can't look at you frigging seriously without. Mate, mate, I just want to know if it's, if it, because you said don't come over unless you're wearing the mask. When did I say And I just, what do you mean when did you say that? You said do not come near me without the mask on because I'm a bit infectious. So what's the matter with you? <laughs> is it catching? It probably is mate, yeah. What, yeah. what from a few feet away or well, you got to do so. a bit I, more well, than I think, that? I think it's a little bit more than that, but is I'll it? be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know, close bodily contact or whatever it is. Uh, are you nearly over this infection now uh, or I'm is it? I'm hoping so, but I'm, I'm hoping to get another dose next week. Are you going to come through it? Well, I'm hoping so, mate. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm on the I'm on the uh, straight and narrow now. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, uh, I've given up the bananas. Oh, are you? Yeah. I, yeah I what are you on about giving up the bananas? I had to chuck them. You know. You've not caught it off me, have you? <laughs> you don't tell me you've caught it off me, mate, because I don't <laughs> think that would happen. Hey, have you actually looked at the camera yet? No. <laughs> well, yeah, I've got my blue mask on. Ah. Oh. What, what, where's this all come from? Anyway? I don't know, you said wear a mask, I, I ain't allowed near you. Say you it? said that to me in the, up there at the top. Make sure you wear your mask, it, you're highly infectious and it could it could just happen just to a click of a finger. <laughs> I honestly don't know where this has come from, but yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all clear now. You're all clear I'm now? all clear now, mate, yeah. So you can, you can probably not even wear the mask anymore. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank <laughs> for that, because I thought I might actually catch something off Shane. I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, thank you Shane for the sausage roll. It is nice actually. Just the right amount of seasoning in it as well. It's a bit of sweetness in it as well, I think. And I haven't come across any pig's trotters yet. You know, the old toenails you get in, or you to. Remember sausages in the 70s when you used to be biting away and there'd be a bit of bone in it or whatever it was. Don't even want to think about it really. 
but yes, yeah, tasty, thank you. Dong Dixons of Hull, I think he said. Shane's got weed. Or a fish. But his video comes out before mine. I've just said on his video I ain't caught anything, but I've already had a dogfish, whiting, and a codlin. Sure, I plugged my video rarely, shouldn't I? This video for me will come out in two weeks time, so you'll see me and Shane fishing on his channel before you see it on mine. Because he's never got any videos in the bank. But it's coming up to cod season in the River Umber now, so hopefully he'll go after work, take his gear with me, said. Go after work, see if there's any cod on the bank. Because you'll get in winter time, you'll get to the point where it's an absolute nasty weekend. And if you've got some videos, you don't have to put yourself through that, do you? No, you ain't got anything. Right, I'm gonna finish this off. You don't see me eat this. My light, I had to buy a new light for my camera. And the annoying thing is, it was switched on in my bag. So it's not as bright as it should be. But never mind, I'll use it for as long as I can. I've got another light. I'm waiting. I knew I had something on it. Got loads of May rot as well for some reason. Let's get it back. We are filming one waiting. Let's get it back. Got loads of May rot on my line. <clears throat> Warren, rinse my hands off. Get this May rot off. Next rig is on. It's the two hook flapper. So hopefully we'll catch two fish and catch Shane up. So that's now uh, two whiting, one cod, and dogfish. Brilliant. More fish than the last session, and more than the one that I blanked on. So fancy having a blank, yeah. 
One blank though, and since beginning of summer, it's not good. It's not bad, is it? See you in a bit. That's another bait out there fishing. We're doing all right, aren't we? Four fish. Had three species, which is, that's what I enjoy, catching different fish. Makes it more interesting. I'll get this rig sorted out, get it baited up. Shane's on the phone, and what I'll do is, tide's still coming in, time is now, sit rep, sit rep. 10 past six. So the L Scott's messaged me. He's a good lad, isn't he? Don't happen often, but he's messaged me. It's 10 past four. High tide is between 4.40 and 4.45 and then we'll fish it going down. And uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll show you my new light bracket. That's what I'll do. Carson's going better than it has been. That's the main thing. And what it means is, is that I can just keep practicing on this field and it, and it can translate into the beach. But this is my new bracket. So. I've got a, uh, this is the pin what it sits in. So it sits in the rod rest. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I've got a, this is all 316 stainless steel. I've welded a nut on, a bolt on, got a wing nut on. Got a fibre washer in between, undo that. The light sits on top and you can adjust it wherever. So that, I've made it to fit in my breakaway gym, it's called G-Y-M-N, um, rod stand. I think you can still get them, but they don't show them on their website, but best rod rest in the world, better than Ian Gold. It's as light as a feather. It's, you can, the legs screw and unscrew, so you can tighten it up and it don't go anywhere. So this is what I've done, look. That fits in there, so I can turn it if I want, and this will go up and down, so that I can actually hit the tip of the lights, rods. Let me show you. So it goes up and down, and then this, you just tighten that and it won't move. Yeah, it'll still move this way, but that's the whole idea of it. And then what I do is, I put a torch on top of this with an elastic on, holds it on. And then, if I ever want to uh, take it off, because um, there's someone giving me the willies, because you think you can air things, I can still, because what I'm using is my torch I use for spotting. So if I'm on them big Lincolnshire beaches, I have a torch so that when it's sort of like stupid o'clock at night and dark, you can have a flash round and if any eye, if the light hits anybody's eyes, they'll shine up red and you know there's someone there and then you can go say what you're up to if they're too close. If they look dodgy, do you know what I mean? So that's what I've got it for. So I've used that torch for that. So I made that bracket made it the other day tested it in my back garden works fine so we'll see it tonight hopefully when it goes dark it's not too much weed there's a bit of may rot for some reason and uh, 
there's fish. It's definitely fish. So uh, Shane's now reeling in. He said his rods are going again. It's not, and uh, to be honest, I ain't even bothered who catches the most, to be honest, because it's just nice that we're catching. I caught last week as well. He blanked. He's had a few blanks now, but it's just nice to actually catch. And uh, I don't know why I do this, but I do. Um, and he's broke his blanks. He thinks he's had two blanks on the trot. So he's caught. He ain't had his coddling yet. He might catch it tonight. Let's hope he do. But if he don't, I'll be chuckling all the way up to the van. He'll, uh, I've already sent him a picture of a cod that I caught. Oh, I've got a bite. I've got a bite. Oh, oh, oh. Or was it the wind? We'll watch it. Anyhow, I'll bring you back. I'll keep watching this rod. We now got to 46 minutes. That don't matter to you, does it? Anyhow, sit rep is, it's half an hour till high water. And then hopefully it'll still catch on the ebb. It normally does. I'm gonna bait this penelope up now with a bloody grip bait. See you in a bit. I was gonna come over to you. You never come over to me. Oh, yeah, bro, that sausage roll up, eh? You either don't want your piles coming out, and that's why you're always <laughs> sat on that box, or you're stuck to it. Now it's one or the other. I do want to go into the ins and outs of it. Sure, I've sure. come over here. I've come over here yeah. to ask for some assistance. To what? I'm just wondering whether you could assist me. Well, you know, there's certain things I'll, I'll assist another man with, and there's certain things I probably won't. Like, but, oh right. Yeah, depending on what it is, man. You know, does that depend on how drunk you are as well? Because like, oh, well, yeah. if I had to go to the toilet, would you just let me there, lie there, or would you help me? <laughs> That's a good question. That is a, uh, depends he's, on how many drinks I've had. He's an arse, isn't he? I know that. I've got my mate Steve would help me. But anyhow, yeah, this yeah. is another subject on the beach, mate. Yeah. I'm only asking if you'd give me an hand. I've got to put some cream on. Right. On me hip. Yeah. And I just wondered whether you'd lift me shirt. What are you laughing at? Because I could just I'm not see, asking you I to could, shirt. I could just see the thumbnail, thumbnail now. What? Shirt lifting. <laughs> What's all that about? What's all that about? <laughs> it's this illness he's got. I ain't got, <laughs> I ain't got no frigging illness. Hey, it's just that my shirt goes into me cream and then it all gets sticky. Mate, on this and occasion, I don't like I'll, it sticky down there. I'll, I'll help you with your shirt. I'll hold your You'd shirt. You'd hold my shirt. Yeah, I'd hold your shirt. Oh, isn't I, that nice of him? I'll put the cream on for you if you wanted me to. I've got all my hands together. No, oh. <laughs> no you're, I can do the cream. Oh, that's all right. It looks like I've been in a pickle of Because it's man. like jelly. Is it? You can rub it in once it's really? been Get once it it's there. been squirted on, spread all over. You can just rub it in. Do you know what I mean? I don't. Yeah, I'll argue. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if these tablets kick in first. Yeah. <laughs> now my hips a lot better. I walk a lot better now, but I've been on my feet too long. When I'm fishing on me, I'm normally sat down. So. Crazy and much more. Bikes on both rods. Both. Yeah, yeah. I saw this down as well. That's going again. That's going again. So it clipped down. I've got a squid, whole squid, and a whole prawn on the next bait. Yeah. Yeah. And I bait it. It's okay, but I didn't bait it right. But I've now learned from that because I've figured out another way to bait up, which is logical, really. Yeah. But yeah. Come but I there. pinched that off someone else's channel. But oh, that's what it's all about, it's all about isn't it? You're borrowing, you're not people borrowing ideas. Yeah. Don't forget to check out Shane on the Holdenness Godfather. Up, man. Yeah, he don't catch much cod. <laughs> I'm beating him this year up to now. But there you go. And then there's uh, Hardcore Fisherman Hull. Danny Shaw fishing and Casters fishing whales. Yeah, go check them reprobates yeah. out. They, they have a good, they have a, they have a good laugh. 
And uh, but fella. Matt's always blanking. What's that about? Yeah, what's, what's that, that about? about? He blanks more than me. Yeah. I know he'll be onto me now. I've it's his that. age. Is it? Is He's it an shooting age? Yeah. blanks. <laughs> <laughs> you need to have a word with Web Dog. He, yeah. can, he, he don't shoot blanks, he catches. He's always on him, his Web Dog, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Get yeah. him drunk, get him drunk one night, Matt, and uh, see what his trick is. What his secrets are. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, go check them channels out. And don't forget, I'll say it for a second time so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> it's not about it. I only said that because that's me. But um, go check out. Um, I'm just watching these rods. Do go check out Alan's Castaways. All right. And yeah, uh, go yeah, go check out Alan's Castaways. He's got a oh, YouTube boy. channel. He's got a bite. Yeah. He's also got a Facebook group called Bend 'em, Send 'em, Go Get 'em. So go join his Facebook group and have a chat with him. If you want casting lessons and you can get to him, or you live in the Manchester area. Um, Contact him on his Facebook group. Um, he does. He's going to be doing casting lessons once once a few things are sorted out. So. I think I was a bit premature there, mate. See you in a bit. So much for casting it short. <laughs> that went really nice, that cast. I put no effort into that because I didn't want it to go far. And it went as far as the previous cast, or nearly as far as the previous cast, and I didn't put nothing into it. So just goes to show, all technique, not a lot of oomph. It's all you need. Okay. 
give it a few seconds. Yep, he's got some life in him. The problem with them disgorgers, they're fantastic tools for getting the hook out, I couldn't, couldn't see the hook. There's no weight on the fish, so even though you've tilted it and you go like that. Isn't fishing quite brutal? <laughs> nah, he's alright. Right. There you go. One white and Get that back before he uh, wilts. When I put him in the bucket, I had hold of him, wiggling him about, and then all of a sudden he gave a big flick and he was in the bucket swimming around. So he tried to flick out my hands when I took him down, but I've chucked him out and he ain't come back in. The tide went out, it took him with him. Flap the rig again. Right, I said I would cast this one out short, so I'm going to. But I didn't have no weed on that. We've got squid and car on it. I'm gonna to go to the right because the tide has changed. Yeah, I'm gonna overhead dump this and just chuck it out short. My knee's giving me jip now. I've had a struggle with my knees for that. Since I've been doing these exercises for the hips, my knees hurt. Um, I've lost my baiting tool, which has really hacked me off. I like that baiting tool, to be honest. But it's gone. Got nothing I can do about that. Hopefully when the water goes out, where my tripod was last, which weren't far away, I don't think, it might be there still. I doubt it though. Bugger. I've had that for quite some time as well. Yeah, yeah. that's what you get though, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm gonna put my knee brace on now. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll catch another fish. So what's that, three white in now? So that's three, four, five fish. I was on four. To be honest, I'm just enjoying it here today. I'm not watching these rods like a hawk. I mean, Shane, he ain't got off his flipping box apart from giving me that sausage roll. 
That was guilt. Right, I'll try and get this on. It's going to be hard work. I'll see you in a bit. Well, hopefully Tom will focus in on that moon. If you can focus in on it, Tom, please do. But that's creeped up and we didn't even see it. That would have been nice seeing that come up. Shane's just said it's in that moon. Full moon tonight, I believe. It's either tonight or tomorrow. I think it's full tonight. Could be tomorrow. So I still can't find my baiting tool and I've used it for so long now, I'm lost without it. I've just had to wrap up a uh, squid bomb with a uh, cart in it and I don't think I'll wrap any more up because I ain't got my tool. Unbelievable. Can't believe it, I hate losing stuff. Because I made it you see, so it's got a little bit of a bond. 
even though it's just a bit of metal. Never mind. I'm absolutely gutted. I have to keep going and asking Shane for it for his that I made him to, I made him it yesterday. Finished it off this morning before I come. And uh, can't keep going back asking him for it. Right, let's get this rod reeled in while we got you on. It's getting dark now. Go well, if you wonder why I ain't got a Fenix light on, for those that notice I wear a Fenix light, um, it's in the garage. So Shane had, luckily, Shane's got two two torches. So uh, yeah, benefit of fishing with a mate in it. I've had to put a uh, knee bandage on. Probably already told you, I can't remember. So uh, let's get this chucked down. Now Shane's catching quite a few whiting at the minute and he's not chucking that, he's only doing a red thump. Now I could do a red thump and keep catching whiting but I'm casting at distance and I ain't getting a lot at the minute. Um, but I'd rather catch something different. It's got to be a dogfish out there or hopefully another cod. Catching more than one cod though, that's a little bit to ask, isn't it? For us amateur fishermen. Right, so, let me quickly show you this. There's my torch. It's a Phoenix torch. And uh, you'll see what that's like shortly, so moon's getting high. See you in a bit.
Right, there you go. One white and let's get it back. had gone slack and uh, someone had pulled it in my mate next door and he had a white at Shane's had a white on his rig and there was a white on mine but he tried to claim it let's get his baited up and get it sent back home Went out all right. Felt all right. Let me just show you. So yeah. Perfectly happy with that at night time. We'll bring you back. We'll get this other rig baited up. Let's carry on fishing. See the moon now, it's a lot brighter. And there you have the light on the rod tips. I carry that torch with me all the time. It's always in the bag. So I've utilised it to work, use it. Well, it's normally sat in the bag. Like I say, I only use it to see what's around me when I'm on a beach on my own at night. So uh, that'll run for 150 hours on that setting. But 
I can now sit here and see these rod tips. Hopefully you will be too. So that set in the last 150 hours. I think that set in lasts for like 50 or something. I can't but I don't need it on that. I'll put it on that if I'm filming. But that's the setting I'll have it on. Last 150 hours. And I can see that from my box, so see you in a bit. Well, I'm casting all these casts quite a long way for me. Cast them out shorter now because uh, Shane's catching, and I'm not saying Shane ain't casting any further than me. But I seem to be whacking it out, and I ain't getting anything. So uh, I intend to.
shut this out short because I'll go on this side. But we're having a good fishing trip, that's the main thing, the boot catch. Just got to change tactics. So that's what I've done. I'll get that rig baited up. Reel the next one in. put this coat on I'm now I'm now getting too hot so yeah so I'm changing tactics now I've been whacking it out well I say whacking it out I'm not saying it's going all that far but it's going down the spill I'm nearly to the gold line um, so it's a good way so uh, I'm now casting short see what happens there's nothing out far I'm getting loads of weed Baits are getting stripped, so Gee, I'm getting up now. Right. So, might have a bit of light on me now. Absolute cracking night, still as anything, the wind's gone, it's warmish if you're dressed right. Um, yeah, but the boats are dried up for me. I had that whiten on the previous thing, that's come in, that's dead, it's golden for the cats. Got washed up on the beach, I know it was that cod whiten because it's one eye was uh, a bit blurry. But the, I think the problem with that was is because we were tangled up, I had to sort my line out before I went over to Shane. And then I got some loops on it, so I had to quickly pull it out. And by the time you get there, you ain't got long of a wait, you know. You, you need to get him out of water, into water, or back in the sea, don't you? So things happen, don't you? Shane's had a cracking bass, 43 centimetres, lovely fat bass. And we both got absolutely drenched. You never ever throw or helicopter a fish, never. But you can chuck it, you can chuck it eight yards, at least five yards, get it in the water, we didn't. Well, Shane didn't. I didn't have to go in the water to try and sort of like be there, but I was filming him and uh, a wave came in and got him and I started laughing. And the, the bass was beached. So he went to grab it and then a bigger wave came in and got me. Can't believe it. There you go. I think that's the fourth time now we've left this beach, or I've left this beach and I've got wet feet. Nothing for me. Right, I shall bait that rig up and then bring in the other rod probably bait that up and that will probably be my last one um, probably might have changed for me to pack up for Shane because he's normally waiting for me but he might start packing up before I before I do anyway but that's what I'm gonna do um, I think I've got another prawn or I'll stick a full squid on catch another one before we go at least
things ain't going right tonight, are they? Hopefully you'll see me with the lights. <laughs> they even turn the bloody camera light on. Just nothing but weed and no fish at the minute. when you've gone too far because circumstances like we have not caught anything since that last whitening I didn't really catch that because I didn't feel anything because I was hooked up with Shane but just getting to the point now where I probably should have packed up but I've got this baited up it's going out it's just going out of the throw Right, well that's that done. Um, everything's good. Just getting tired now, I think. It's been a great session. We've had a good time. We've both caught. Shane's caught more than me, but I've caught a codlin, Shane's caught a bass. So yeah, there you go.
still nothing on that just a prawn still still fishing but it looks like it's been attacked by some probably a crab or something i don't know little fish perhaps Well, we'll pack this rod away. Well, we've got the two-up flapper still out. I'm going to pack this rod down and then uh, bring in the two-up flapper and see what happens. It's been a fantastic night's days fishing. It's been nice being with Shane. It's been lovely weather. Absolutely cracking night. Moon is out, as you can see. Glistening on the sea. Still flat calm. We've had some good fish. I've caught plenty of fish. Shane's finished off, I think, his last fish was a bass, 43 centimetre. Um, I'd love to catch a bass. Ain't caught one for ages. But, uh, yeah. It's not good, is it? I ain't caught one. <laughs> no, it seems to have pitted off a bit now, but I've been casting out quite... I've been casting out as far as I can at the minute. So, um... I think the fish have been coming in closer but mainly it was all whiting and I went too fast I wanted to get a bait out there for a bigger fish or a different fish I don't even I, I'm quite happy catching dogfish but um, these two were in short I had a prawn in short and I've got squid out there in short on the flapper rig so couldn't get a whiting couldn't we I haven't seen the rod move but I chucked them out short hopefully to catch a bass so. can't seem to get this right so I'll bring you back when I uh, finish this off see you later well it's the last reeling um, and then that's it so let's reel this in see what's on it it has been moving but it could just be the uh, waves on the beach hitting the line getting tired and my leg ache. My knee hurts and all.
there you go. Last cast, last reeling. Caught myself a bit of a little dogfish. Let's get this on up. There you go. It's a little fella, isn't he? Welcome relief. That's just boosted my morale now for the walk gun. But uh, yeah, she's a, only a little tiny dogfish. But never, nevertheless, it's a dogfish and it's a fish. So what's that, seven, six, seven? I'm well happy today. It's been a great session. So let's get this put back and I'll be back in a minute. Right. Well, that was the last reel in. I'm so happy to catch on that last cast. Um, just gives you a bit of a boost, doesn't it? Uh, it's been a while. I did catch a whiten, but... Um, yeah, so I've had a good session, really, with our dogfish whiten and a codlin. Um, Shane's had... Well, you'll see his video, but he's had whiten, dogfish and a bass. So it's been a good session. It's been a beautiful day, lovely weather. Um, it was windy to start, but then the wind dropped off. It's no wind now. It's not cold, but then we've got coat and fleeces on, so. But I've took me out off. It's not cold. Um, what else is to say? It's not been a blank. That's the main thing. It's been a good day. It's been a great day on the beach with company. It's, uh, it's nothing more else to say, really. It's just been fantastic. Um, a bit before that last fish, it was getting a bit down for me. I was like thinking, Jesus Christ, I've fished too long. But it's worked out okay. So this has been Burn Sea Fishing on the Yorkshire coast, Alderness coast in fact, in the county of Yorkshire. And it, it's been great. Um, if you've got this far, thank you very much. I'd like to thank all my subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. I'd like to um, thank all my members that I have to the channel. Thank you very much for what you do each month. And um, yeah, what else is it to say? I don't know. If you've got this far, consider subscribing. If you don't and you don't like it, but you got this far, thank you for the view. That's all I can say. So. Uh, Thank you for watching Burnsea Fishing and the next time you see me, it might be on the river. That's what I'm planning. Do a midweek session, big tides in the Humber. I might do it. If not, I'll be back on the beach. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, remember, I'll see you in on. What nerves the matter with him? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Is there something wrong with you? <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, thank fuck for that because I thought I might actually catch something off Shane. I don't know what it is, 